Hello there, welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here and I hope you are doing well today. Capricorn, we're going to get some messages out for you to see what's going on in your vibration in this time. I'm going to do some general messages, so all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take the ones that do apply and the rest let them fly capricorn welcome in all right remember to hit the like button share comment subscribe if you like the video and i'm gonna just shuffle through the cards to see what messages come out for you i have a feeling it could be a lot of confusion but let's do this angels birds guides welcome in getting messages for the center capricorn Alright, so we have the Virgo energy, hermit, vibration, seeking clarity, prayer, intuition, enlightenment, broken heart, sadness, light. Um, uh, the Queen of Pentacles, liberty, abundance, um, magnificence, glory, pride, confidence, wealth. Planning, someone may be planning or maybe this was the past, planning to do something, to take some action or to steal something away or to move towards something that was seemingly toxic with the devil vibration here. Capricorn. It could be temptation or an addiction or just past, a past habit, past way of doing things or just the past wanting to come up again. To come back around but that was the past in your current vibration i feel like you're dealing with a bit of sadness but wanting to trust in your intuition even being masterful with your words your deeds your actions um i feel like you're protecting your own heart which feels kind of powerful at the same time it's like you're not letting anything else get to your heart or your emotions or break you down or make you sad or weak so I feel like you're defending that intuitively. There may be trouble that's coming around from your past, past person, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It may be reminding you of things that happened in the past, like childhood feelings, all of that things. All right. And it's kind of dark and eerie. Um, that what is, It's something like it's been waking, way awakened, waking up. All right. But I also feel like there could be some balance. Here, there could be, uh, all right, there will be, when it comes to patience, understanding, giving and receiving, higher perspective, third eye vision, water energy, earth energy, so being balanced in water and earth, in material and spiritual, okay, in the physical and in the spiritual realm. There's something about work, intuitive about work, something about your intuition about work and maybe bringing some balance as well when it comes to performing. I feel like there is, um, it's almost like you want to get your hand on a lot of wealth, money, prosperity, success. Are you trying to figure out how to do so? So you're taking action, maybe you are writing or reading or sending out messages or something happening directly right now strictly maybe someone wants to steal from you take from you but i feel like you're protected maybe someone may i feel like you may be having a vision of going to work and what's going on at work or how you perform at work there's something about work here for you capricorn we're gonna get into what is the devil vibrate we're gonna um let's get one more card for the outcome for this because right now you're in hermit energy which feels like you're you're humble or you're seeking or you're praying or you're being quiet or you're closed off from the world you're in a cave you're some you know you're taking a break um there may be something on your heart that is bothering you or keeping you from re fully diving deep into yourself and something that is tethering you to the physical world, like materialistically. 
like um, something that physically happened. You have your confidence and your sense of independence to rely upon. I feel like you are independent, like you have a lot of wealth, like you've inherited wealth or you've just been liberated financially or just in how you feel and your mindset, your well-being overall. Okay. I feel like you could be moving away from people that want to take from you or steal from you. Maybe your energy or thoughts are... Or just your something about planning and the way you took action or how you used to move swiftly or something like that. Hastily. So the highest thing you can achieve for now, um, especially when it comes to removing this roadblock, which is the heartbreak, the heartbreak and the sadness, is to really tap into your intuition and align intimately with your own self, your feelings, your needs, your wants, your thoughts, your intelligence, your power over your own life. This is making a statement, a declaration, maybe saying no to what is external, what is outside of you, and yes to your internal space, your moon energy, maybe your water vibration. I feel like you can see or tell that someone is coming around with that they want to remind you of feelings that maybe this is the feelings that you are working on okay that's how you feel like this person that's coming around possibly a water sign or now possibly an old family member old soulmate they're gonna they want to give you something maybe you don't want this maybe they took this from your um i heard your shadows your shadow side and they're taking it to present it to you i don't know if you're accepting this okay and then so the outcome is the three of pentacles for me that's prosperity that's well that's maybe working getting a job or working on things or something that you've manifested that has to do with wealth well-being money a job or just feelings of prosperity that you have manifested so maybe you were working on something like i said there was planning going on over here and it's um aligned you with a business or a potential for money to come in or just good feelings in your life the devil and the queen of pentacles energy is both capricorn energy earth sign i'm just not sure i feel like you are capricorn i feel like at this point you are attempting or you mean to decide to not what should i say sit with the devil or feed this devil but you're not acting as if you're better than it and the devil could be your toxic ways past memories feelings and thoughts attachments addictions um doubts passions anger emotions sexual energy a lot of things that happened in your past I feel like you found a way to feel good, to see both sides of yourself, the well-being side of yourself and the part of yourself or this devil energy here. Maybe your memories and your feelings or just whatever feels like devil vibration to you that's in your life that, is want, that wants to be at play some way, shape or form. But the energy is, I can't really explain it. It's not, it's not a part of you, but you're not pushing it away from you. It's like you're saying, hmm, I see you, but you're not giving it your entire attention. <laughs> entire. All right. So your hope is really to have balance. There may be someone coming around in your home. Like I say, this person may want to give you something. And it's not that they may physically come around. It could be spiritual or some other way, shape or form text message device this plan this thing that's going on here all right
all right so the ending is the ace of wands feels like new things new beginnings a new job new ideas new connection with your ancestors i'm um, like you've maybe passed a test or something you've been um it's good that you are here where you are today because you know it's like i said this devil vibration wanted to come around but it's you see with the queen of pentacles here you can see it for what it is you know you're able to to have you you have space for it and it and this devil vibration knows that it feels that it's not attacking you but it knows you can see it you have space for it and it's almost like with that energy like just today like or or in this case you have like leveled up with the ace of wands made a step up a progress to not start thinking maybe negatively or to give in to the, the, the devilish energies anymore because you hold your own well-being in your hand which is liberation your own liberation here feelings of well-being okay so maybe if you're dealing with money or you wanted a job or you felt you know that's what was making you sad you were seeking a job or some answers or clarity oh my god the wheel of fortune and you were feeling down about it or doubtful or stressed about the situation surrounding money i feel like you have it you have it you are coming into connection with a, a job a new job or something new the wheel of fortune that's bringing in fortune and blessings for you all right and this is also coming from angelic presence um it's a blessing really for you you could be studying going back to school or maybe you could be working and getting a job in a library or an establishment where you use, you're you're flipping through paper or writing maybe an office job okay it's something that you're good at something that you're good at there's something about sex here as well there may be temptation in this offer i'm seeing a penis right here a, an erect one and it's taking me back to this devilish vibration here with, when it comes to sex and addictions and attachment, sexual energies, lust. What is that? It feels like I just felt something else here. Someone wants to give you something. And this could be land or money or something coming into your home. Someone, perhaps, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It feels like, um, what is that feeling? Something come, just going, something going. Something is like, um, hmm. the Wheel of Fortune is what is bringing in the Ace of Wands. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. All right, we're going to shuffle. What is the Wheel of Fortune? Angel, spirits, guides, beloved ancestors. It feels like the transport, the world, page of pentacles. Because the Wheel of Fortune just feels like the deliverer of the Ace of Wands and then it will leave. The messenger really with the page of pentacles you could be releasing giving or receiving i feel like you're receiving something from the world so this could be coming over water this could be money that you're about to get the wheel of fortune so what is the ace of wands Okay, I'm going to reshuffle. It feels like a lot of abundance and stability and uh, something that you've wanted, you've been waiting for, you've manifested this, something that you weren't sure about how it will come through, maybe. Could be a job. We saw the Queen of Wands. Something about home or a business alignment, really, or marriage. So it could be work, 
a relationship but it's some alignment in a relationship that is coming around into your world so let's see it's gonna make you feel like it feels like a lot of money too it's making you feel confident oh my gosh it's making you feel good confident wealthy independent look king of pentacles we have king and queen of pentacles so maybe it's like definitely aligning with a job here for you i feel powerfully the sun card success and abundance materially physically spiritually in your relationships and it came with the judgment so it's the it's the right time and it's like it's it's said that's how it feels like it's been said you know like it's been spoken or declared <laughs> It's been declared your your success, your prosperity, and your abundance, and your for, maybe forgiveness or retribution, whatever this is. It's done. It's declared. Yeah, whatever you've been asking for, it's declared. It may have something to do with King of Cups, maybe Father, maybe a King of Cups vibration. Okay, something about the home. But I feel with this Pentacles, something is coming into your hand like money so let's see could be work stand up for work and then the four of pentacles at the bottom i'm hearing stand up for work so maybe that means get ready the strength card or prepare yourself um okay maybe emotionally to maybe go back out start working if that's what you are wanting to do i feel like you're gonna get it it's fortunate um blessing coming around i like the ace and this is your weekly reading just so be mindful temptation may come through for you but i feel like as i say it's not it's at the bottom here at the bottom of the deck and but it's and you know really and truly it's actually how you feel the devil energy too capricorn not gonna lie not gonna lie not gonna lie it's actually in the position of how you're currently feeling you know, maybe you feel tethered or obligated. You know, maybe you, you're upset and you want to express that, but you're not. That's toxic. You know what I mean? If you're upset and you feel some type of way, I feel like it is healthy for people to speak how they feel and to get things off of their chest. But if you're holding on to something currently and you feel it, because I can feel the energy inside of you that like maybe you're upset you're angry you want to cry you want to lash out you want to cuss i don't know but you're mm, you know what i mean you're you are keeping this energy even if you are keeping this energy trapped to you it's 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 it's, it's slavery you're because this energy wants to express itself to curse to to chant to be free look because I've never seen this door here, but both chains connect to this door leading outside. But the devil has his foot on this door. So I feel like if you have a feeling to express, to release, to let some light in, it's also going to show yourself that you're not alone. That was so very powerful to feel. Because I'm imagining this door removed and then light begins to pour into a space where... You know, when you feel angry and you just, you could break things, but you're holding it in. And it's the thoughts and the feelings and all these past emotions that you're experiencing that have been brought back up to you, into your mental space. You're going to have victory because the devil and the sun coming out is, you're going, it's beautiful. But you're currently in this vibration. I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to get through it though. Like I said, it's how you handle this situation now that's going to cause this wheel of fortune and this new thing to come through. What have you been learning with Ace of Wands? The page of pentacles that we saw too. You've been learning some things about well-being and your emotions too. And I feel like you can apply that today powerfully to maybe go back to even you going back to your own childhood self and... um. It's, it's going to take strength and courage, but you have it within you. And 
really call for healing wherever you need it to be with the balance energy sagittarius energy here with the temperance having patience also having fun being like light-hearted you know i feel like a lot of clearing ups maybe gonna come for you today and i feel it's how you play the cards because remember the outcome is i feel like you have this in your hand it feels like you have government this is your domain like your land your territory here and it feels like you have this say over what happens on your land you know but i'm telling and i'm telling you no you do maybe you thought this devil did are these other words are people are echoes vibrations but it is you so i feel like you now will step up and um like lead your land your home your hometown so it has a lot to do with your home your space home in your body in your temple and in your environment how you see yourself and it's gonna make you grow beautifully from here onward the wheel of fortune really just feels like this this a car but it feels like a ribbon like rolling out the red carpet honestly and then at the end of the carpet a gift is left for you which is the ace of wands and then the wheel of fortune just goes on its way because it's the transporter but it's coming by fortune so it could be something that was happening happening out of the blue for you it's like for, it's like you want something 777 seven, seven, like 21 like lucky number that's how i feel you you want something and it's just being delivered to you just like that by the universe Tra -la 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 -la, you receive it the ace of one something brand new that you really deserve and you're going i feel like you will know that you are the one that caused this because um of a certain decision that you made to to something about your mindset yeah something about your father too and i promise you're not alone what is the ace of wands no what is the wheel of fortune oh my god a blessing coming from the universe you're gonna probably go back to school or study some coming from a place of full love the ace of cups here abundance in love probably from your past past sadness or something you're also aligning in well-being or wealth so you're going to receive something that makes you feel like zing something that you've always wanted that makes you feel good something is going to reach directly to your heart space it's going to make you feel good from your heart even the way you carry yourself present yourself is beautiful so like I see, you may be getting a new job. You're going to be working off service, putting yourself out there. And uh, look, possessing money here. A lot of wands and a lot of pentacles energy, I mean, for money coming up for your week. And also some emotional things that you're working through. Gifts coming through from the universe for you, Ace of Wands, you know. All right, so that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Much love, I do hope. You found messages here that resonates with you and is able to help you on your journey. If you did, hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in your next reading next week. Much love to you. Remember that your all, all is within you. You can be, do, have everything and anything in this world you desire.